Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Update webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a Microsoft 365 group in Exchange Online. We can use the Exchange Admin Center or Microsoft 365 Admin Center to create, modify or remove the groups. In this video, we will use Exchange Admin Center web interface only. Generally, we use groups in Exchange to distribute messages to multiple recipients. There are four types of groups that can be used to distribute messages in Exchange Online. But in this video, we will only discuss about Microsoft 365 group. Earlier, this group was known as an Office 365 group. Microsoft 365 group is the recommended group by Microsoft as it provides the team a shared workspace to communicate, shared files, appointments, emails, contacts, and other mailbox items. Using Microsoft 365 groups, you can make sure that everyone has access to the tools they need to get the job done, enabling seamless collaboration across your organization. There is no need to set permissions manually. When you add a user to the group, they will automatically get the permissions they needed. So let's create a new Microsoft 365 group using Exchange Admin Center. First of all, we need to access and log into the Exchange Admin Center. For that, open your favorite web browser and type in the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com and press enter key. Enter the email address of your administrator. In my case, it is cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Now I'm going to click on next. Let's enter the user password and click on sign in. In the Action Admin Center web interface, you need to click on Groups under Recipients. We can see the list of all groups are available in our Exchange. We can also see the tabs of four group types, Microsoft 365, Distribution List, Mail Enable Security, Dynamic Distribution List. Earlier, Distribution List is known as a Distribution Group. Now we have Distribution List today. To create a new group, we need to click on add a group link. So let's click over there. Here we can see we have total four types of groups available in Exchange. Microsoft 365, Distribution, Mail Enable Security Group and Dynamic Distribution Group. Here we are going to select Microsoft 365. We can see brief overview information about the group as well. Let's click on Next. Type a name for the group and if you want, you can also enter a description for your group as well. Here I'm going to specify name marketing. I'm not going to enter description. Now uh, let's uh, click on next to continue. Add at least one person to be the owner of the group. Group owner has permission to manage group settings and group members. To assign a owner, we need to click on this a plus icon. Select the radio button in front of the user display name to select that user as a owner. Here I'm going to select a user Manhar Rakulia, which is our administrator. And if you have multiple users, you can also search for a name or email address here. Okay? So I want Manhar Rakulia to be a owner of this Microsoft 365 group. Last click on add. Verify the selected user is listed as an owner for the group. Click next. Click on plus icon to add members to this group. Let's click here. And again select the user which you want to add as a member of this group. I'm going to select Parita Borda and Shen Watson. Let's click on add. Verify both users are listed as a member of this group. Click next. Now we need to enter a unique email address for this group. 
I'm going to specify the group name marketing. Okay, the name marketing is available. So our group's email address is going to be marketing at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. This group can be public or private and that you can select it from here. Here we have our options to choose privacy option. At this moment, we are going to use public. We can also choose whether or not to add an associated Microsoft Teams team to your group. And that option is here. If you don't want to add Microsoft Teams to your group, you just need to clear this checkbox. Now I'm going to click next. Review your selection carefully. And once you are ready, click on create group to complete the process. And here we can see the information which we have selected. Now I'm going to click on create group. We need to wait for a few seconds to add a group to our exchange. We can see the confirmation message that Microsoft 365 group named marketing is created successfully. This group will appear in your list of Microsoft 365 groups within 5 minutes. Now I'm going to click on close to close this window. We can see the newly created group is available in Exchange Admin Center. And after clicking on this group name, you can modify the settings related to that group. Here we have a certain options to export the group. Uh, we can edit name and description of this group. We can edit email address. We can delete the group and other options are also available here. Like if you want to manage members, you can manage it from here. And owners, we can verify our administrator is listed as an owner. And under members, we have two members. If you want to view and manage members, you simply need to click on this link. And that will give you an option to add other member to this group as well. Fine. So here all the settings are there. And using those settings, we can manage a Microsoft 365 group. So that's conclude the video on how to create a Microsoft 365 group in Exchange Online using Exchange Admin Center web interface. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.